School. What if there was a telltale way and almost a formula that could help you get straight A's in school? Well, today I'm going to give you that formula and I'm going to help you get straight A's for the rest of your scholarly career. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. As you can see by the title and a little bit of an introduction, today I'm going to be talking about practical tips and tricks to help you succeed in school. I know there's a lot of people I've met over the years who are trying to do really well in school, exceed and excel, get straight A's, but there's just, for some reason, they just never get to that point where they're able to get good grades in every class. Sometimes they blame it on the teacher, sometimes they blame it on the amount of work, sometimes they say, oh, I just don't like math or whatever it is, but at the end of the day, after you put aside all those excuses, you realize that the reason you're not doing as well as you want to be is yourself. You're the only person stopping you from getting the highest grades possible in that class. Now guys, I'm not making today's video bragging. Uh, I'm not making it as something to say, hey, look at this, I did this, I did this. I am, have been a straight A student since sixth grade, really since actually seventh grade. Sixth grade was when I really started pushing hard, so like middle of sixth grade, all the way now, and I'm a graduating senior in high school. And ironically enough, not only did I have straight A's and I've been in the honor societies, French honor society, this honor society, that honor society, I am actually not going to college. You suck! Uh, so despite that, I wanna share with you how I've been able to do that and how I've been able to achieve straight A's in literally almost every single class I've ever been in since the middle of sixth grade and how you could do the same. Now guys, before I get right into it, here's the proof. Again, I'm not doing this to brag. This is just transcripts from my last year. Here is one from uh, the final transcript from my 11th grade, my 10th grade, and my 9th grade. I don't really remember where I have the ones for middle school because I did move districts, but as you can see, those are my transcripts. So in today's video, I'm gonna break it down into really, really simple steps. First, it's gonna be all about you and how you could change your mentality to really excel and improve. Number two is gonna be all about what you could do in the building to really excel and make sure that everybody's on your team and is looking out for your success. And number three, how to put it all together and make it work in a really, really, really simple way where everything is gonna flow and you're actually gonna to get to that point where you're getting straight A grades in every single class. Now, again, like I said, step one, know yourself, be yourself, and trust yourself. Now again, I know that might sound corny, but if there's one thing that has really, really helped me as I've changed, I've grown, one thing that has really helped me excel in school above a lot of other people and get into every top class is my mental game. My mentality has shifted significantly, but there's one thing that has remained constant and this is that I never, ever, ever limit myself to what I can do. I know that no matter what it is that I have in front of me, I can get it done and I can pass with flying colors. Now, it's not like you have to literally get an A on every single assignment to have straight A's. I've had, I've gotten C's on midterms and I still have a 4.3 GPA, but I've been able to consistently, as you can see, keep a 4.3 GPA coming out of high school. Uh, now again, it is the mentality. I never went into any assignment, no matter how daunting, a science test, chemistry, biology, this test, math test, that test, with ever thinking that I'm not going to succeed, right? I study and I study hard, right? I put myself in a position mentally where I'm able to quickly look at a paper and memorize it. Now that takes repetition. Studying is a skill. Now listen, it, studying can come naturally, but it's not something that stays the same over time. It develops, it grows, and you can get better at studying. Someone who's horrible at studying can improve their studying capabilities significantly. I was never good at studying. In fact, I hated it, but I practiced. I would literally take my notes, pace around the room for an hour, and that, like, that's it, an hour, and read my notes over and over and over and over again. I did this for chemistry and biology, and I would just stare at the paper, walk around, and read, and read, and read, and keep repeating and repeating until I could recite the notes. Actually, to my parents is what I did. I would recite the notes to my parents uh, without looking at the notes. So this literally gave me a cheat sheet right in my head that I would be able to use in the test, and that really helped me succeed throughout high school. It got to the point where I got so good at it that I wouldn't, wasn't even studying by 11th grade. I was just kind of memorizing the stuff I was doing because I was so invested in it. So step one, guys, be yourself, invest in yourself, and never, ever doubt yourself. Step two, what can you actually do within the building when you have your mental game on point and you're mentally prepared to get to that point of getting straight A's? You're not limiting yourself saying, oh, I can't do it, it's impossible. What can you actually do in the building to make sure everybody is on your team and supports you in doing so? Well, this is a trick that I actually learned from my father back in sixth grade when I first went into middle school and I was having trouble getting good grades, but it started to actually matter. He told me that Derek, Literally just ask your teachers, just talk to them. Tell them you need help, tell them your goals, tell them where you wanna be grade-wise, 
and that will put them in a mentality to help you. They're already there to help you, the teachers are not against you, but you need to show them that you're willing to work and willing to improve, which is where your mental game comes in. Now, I've done this almost every single year since seventh grade. Whenever I was struggling or whenever I felt as though I wouldn't be good at something, especially in math and English, because uh, English it always used to be really hard to get A's on essays, which would really bring down my grade, I would literally go to the teacher, sit down, talk to them and ask them for help. Often, and I'm gonna be honest, they'd sit down and almost write my essay for me and grade that, and I would just get like a 97 on it. So a little tip and trick there. Often they just kind of do the work for you if you kind of finagle it properly, but I didn't tell you that. But continuing on there, if you're just asking for help and you show them you're willing to put in the work, they will help you. And when you give off that vibe, that energy that, hey, listen, I have this goal. I'm going to get straight A's and I'm not gonna stop until I do. I'm gonna be top of my class. I'm gonna be valedictorian or whatever your goal is. Once you put that, really into the, force, into the front of your mind, and you really believe it, which is where the step one mental game comes in, and you combine that with asking the teachers for help and having them help you get to that point, you become an unstoppable force in school. Nothing can stop you. Even the students around you, you'll, you'll see that the people around you will change significantly, and you'll start to associate yourself with people who think the same way you do, who actually do get the straight A's, and in doing so, you put yourself in a situation where you actually, all around you are people who are succeeding and excelling and thus you succeed and excel. So when you first get your mental game right and you don't limit yourself and you actually realize, listen, I'm in control, like if I study, if I do the assignment, I will do it well and I will get an A, right? Combining that with just talking your to your teacher, questioning your teacher, asking them why you got things wrong, asking for help when you need it, asking them how you can get to that point of straight A's. And often I would just say, hey, Mr. Mrs. Adams, uh, what can I do in your class to excel and to truly get to this point at this grade at this percentage? And they'd literally just give me a list. In fact, it would be so prominent that at some point, I wouldn't have to do the work that other people are doing and I would get an A. But again, I didn't tell you that. Again, guys, those are just a couple quick helpful tips on how to get straight A's in school. Even if it's not straight A's and you're just trying to be proficient, those tips can really, really help you. Again, this is not a video to brag. This is a video to give you practical advice on how to help you excel and exceed in your scholarly career. So guys, if you found this helpful in any way, shape or form, or if there's something I didn't answer or that you wanna hear more about, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys like this kind of content and you're interested in personal growth, in personal finance, in money, in investing, in lifestyle videos, sometimes I do a couple vlogs and adventure videos, smash that subscribe button and uh, turn the like button, boo in the face, and help out by pushing this video to the algorithm. And, uh, yeah, with that guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.